afternoon, folks. Big Bo here on a rainy Wednesday with another great ultra rare Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I've been looking for one of these vans for months, and as many of you who are looking for these little Class B vans know, they are few, few, and far between used. This particular one is a 2004 2005 Road Trek 190 Popular. Got the full body paint. It's built on a Chevrolet 3500 chassis. It's got 113,000 miles. We just drove it in. Uh, 140, uh, about 150 miles when we bought it. Drugs great. Nice van. Got the 6 liter Vortec V8 in it. 300 plus horsepower. Uh, folks, the people that bought this van originally paid seventy-six thousand dollars for it 2005 the reason I'm calling it a 2004 2005 as many of you know who watch my videos all RVs are built on year old chassis this particular unit was sold brand new as an 05 model I'm gonna show you the original sale sticker here in a minute but the previous owner when they titled this thing they didn't catch it because it's built on a year old chassis and the VIN number uh, is a 2004 Chevrolet cutaway van, it was registered as a 2004 Chevrolet van instead of a 2005 Road Trek 190 Popular, which it clearly is. As a licensed, bonded, insured dealer, I have to legally sell all vehicles by what's stated on the title. So even though this is a 2005 Road Trek, it was purchased new. As a 2005 road trek, all your paperwork's gonna say 2004 Chevy Express cutaway van. And many of you who've been around RVs know that this is a very, very common problem. That's something that you may or may not be able to get corrected at your local DMV office. Just depends on what your state's regulations are. And be honest with you, an 04 and 05 is not gonna make much difference, folks. It's 12, 13 years old, depending on how you look at it. Uh, folks, it's got 113,000 miles, so it does have some use to it, but these things are so rare, and I've looked for months and months for some of these vans, folks. They're impossible to find. Every one of these I get sells within 24 to 48 hours. And uh, this particular one, even though it's got some miles on it, folks, the price more than compensates for it. This is a 2004, 2005 model. It's going to include a complete inspection by my certified RV techs, 29.9. Try to find another one for that price, folks. I promise you, you're not going to have any luck. Not, not one like this. Good looking van. The tires look great. Like I said, we just drove it a couple hundred miles in here. I'm going to lose that umbrella. And for those of you who've been watching my videos, I apologize. This last week, I haven't done a lot of videos. I'm having to cover for two people that are on vacation doing their duties and I just haven't had time to do many videos um, I'm hoping maybe to get one or two more this week and start and ramp back up on Monday when everybody's back from vacation um, but anyway folks this is a nice van the dash air is ice cold paint and body looks good it's got a few little scratches a couple scratches couple little dings and dents that's normal for a 13 year old van glass looks good runs and drives great you know these vans folks are only 20 feet long the class b uh, camper vans of course the smallest motor home you can buy this is actually smaller in length than a half ton four-door pickup truck a half ton four-door pickup truck is about a foot foot and a half longer than this van so you can park in a regular parking spot they get great mileage you're going to get around 15, maybe 16 miles a gallon with this van, depending on how you drive. Um, and they're just so hard to find. They're the perfect couple's motorhome because anybody can drive this van, folks. If you can drive that little Saturn SUV that I've got for sale right there, if you can drive that, you can drive and park this van with ease. That's the benefit of them. They get great mileage. And this is something a couple can drive. Both couple, both people, both members of the couple can drive it and park it with no problem. Let's open it up here. And what's neat about these little vans, folks, this unit does have a 2.8 on generator with 555 hours. It runs great. But what's neat about these vans is that 
90% of the time when you're traveling in this van, you don't need the generator. You don't need to run the roof air in the generator. That dash air and dash heat will keep you comfortable and keep the entire van comfortable unless you get into some kind of crazy stuff like Florida, South Florida in the summertime or Arizona, New Mexico, something like that where you need heat or where you need air conditioning. But the majority of the time, that dash air is going to keep this van comfortable. It's got the keyless remote entry, like I said, low miles. Well, low miles for this type of motorhome. You got to realize, folks, these little vans are so easy to use, drive, and park that people use these a lot more than the big ones. So they're going to have a lot more miles on them than a big one. And still, folks, for a 13 year old vehicle, that's not bad mileage. And it's got a lot of life left to it, folks. They've left a whole thing of service records in here so you can see what's been done to it, how well it's been taken care of. Seats look great. It's got the third seat, so if you've got a passenger going with you, that will definitely help. And it also helps make an extra bed, too, folks, because you can sleep up to three people. You swivel the front passenger seat around, you lower this seat down, and you've got a little single bed. And then plus your queen bed in the back as well. Of course, it's a road trek. All road treks have the triple skylight, skylights right there. There's all the books and manuals. There's your table that can set up up here in the front or in the back. Kitchen looks great. Um, looks like we've got a two-way RV refrigerator freezer. And we'll make sure that works great. Microwave. Got a stove top. Now, folks, I'm going to show you this because the people we bought it from hid it from us. Because when my drivers picked this up, and this was a for sale by owner, by the way, that's how they had it on there. They had it taped on there where nobody could see it, the sink cover. And, of course, I pulled it up, and it looks like at one time that this is like a plastic composite countertop. It looks like it's busted. It doesn't affect the functionality of it whatsoever. It's not loose. But I think it's kind of funny that a for sale by owner was hiding that. And here I am, a dealer, that everybody... Everybody thinks dealers are, are, are like used car dealers and they just, uh, uh, you know, hide everything. And I'm sitting there showing it to you and being honest with you. So just like to point that out. I always like to point out the good and the bad. It, it, that's a cosmetic feature, folks. We sell these things used. They're used motor homes. We don't cover cosmetics. So that's going to be included with it. Now, you may or may not be able to order that directly from Road Trek, who's still in business today. But I just wanted to point that out. Um, solid wood cabinets look great. I'm going to try to cover up the original owner's information. Here's where they bought it new in, in Orlando, Florida. And look what that asking price is, folks. That's what they sold it for. Now, that's not counting of what they negotiated it down to. $76,879. And you can see right here, folks, it is an 05 model. It was sold as an 05, but the title is going to say 04 Chevy Express chassis. As we walk toward the back, it's got the Cool Cat air conditioner, and that is also an electric heat pump. You've got a toilet right here on one side. Now, this unit does not have a shower. Uh, a lot of these were ordered without showers because the showers in these are so hard to use anyway. Most people just forego the shower and just have the toilet. Here in the back, you've got a sofa that makes a queen bed. You've got a little flat screen TV right here that's on a swivel. Uh, get over here. It's got a swivel, a little Samsung TV. And you open up this glass cabinet right here, and it's got a little DVD player. That carpet comes up, and you don't have any carpet on the floor if you take that carpet up right there, at least to the bedroom area. You got a fantastic vent fan. Like I said, generator has 555 hours. Monitor panel, there's your battery cut off right there on the monitor panel. Neat little van, folks. I mean, these things are so hard to find, especially in this price range for this year model. And I know it's got 113,000 miles, but folks, where are you going to find another one for that price? After purchase, our, how it works is after purchase, our certified RV techs 
we'll go through this thing and make sure everything on it works. Um, you know, we check, including but not limited to, I'm going to close that door real quick. Included but not limited to, uh, we're going to check the plumbing, the electrical, the generator. We're going to check the running, the driving. We're going to check uh, the propane system, the stovetop, the refrigerator on gas and electric. We're going to check uh, water heater. We're going to check drawers, cabinets. We're going to make sure all the beds fold out like they're supposed to. Uh, we're going to make sure um, the lights work, all the plug-ins work. I mean, we pretty much go through these things with a fine-tooth comb. And the way it works, folks, to keep our overhead and our, and our costs down, which in turn keeps our prices down so that benefits everybody, helps us sell more RVs, and it allows you to buy these RVs for a lot less than you will anywhere else. Uh, we don't check these things out till we sell them because that keeps our overhead down. So what you want to do is you want to call ahead before you buy this unit on eBay, which I have no doubt this thing's going to sell on eBay in a day or two, if, if, if it even lasts that long, because these vans, I don't have to tell you folks how hard these things are to find. But if this, when this thing, before this thing sells, before you buy it on eBay or wherever you buy it from, I use 20 different websites besides eBay. What you want to do is call us, call ahead, talk to my non-commissioned sales department, have them send you over a list of what we check out for the price you pay, and to get the current lead time for a Class B motorhome checkout. It doesn't take long to check these little vans out compared to the big ones. But get the current lead time so that way there's no surprises. Now folks, we've been in business for 49 plus years, and, and I've said this in, in pretty much every video I've done on a Class B camper van. If I could only choose one type of motorhome to carry, one type of RV to carry, we got over 170 used RVs, but if I could only choose one kind of RV to carry and fill my lot up with that one kind of RV, it would be these little Class B camper vans, folks. There is such a huge demand for them uh, that they just do not last long at all. Um, I had a, a leisure travel here a couple of weeks ago, a diesel, a uh, Sprinter chassis, I had people fighting over that. Literally, I, two customers almost came to, came to blows on it. Uh, we had to actually kick one of them off the lot because they were about to fight the other one to buy it. I've never seen nothing like it in my life, folks, but I had people and still getting calls on that leisure travel, and it was quite a bit more than this one, folks. But these vans are just so popular and so hard to find that people are traveling from all over the country to purchase them. I have no doubt in my mind that it wouldn't surprise me one bit that somebody from California will buy this van. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if a customer from Canada bought this van for the price I'm selling it for. Because they're so hard to find, they're so rare, they just, they just don't sit around long. I don't have any surprises. I show you all the good and the bad. That's why I didn't, didn't try to hide that like the for sale by owner we bought this from did. You know, I tell you what we're going to do for the price we charge. Uh, we're going to go through it. We're going to make sure all the everything functions like it's supposed to. So you can take it right to the campground from the lot. Um, and if you have any questions about that, folks, just give us a call. 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. You saw what it cost new, almost $77,000. Here it is for $29.9, including an inspection by our certified RV techs. Folks, that's that's a lot of money to save. And and for that for to save $35,000, dollars $40,000, trust me, folks, you can deal with a crack countertop or a or a scratch or a ding or den or two, folks, because the kind of money you're saving, uh, literally, you're buying this thing for less than what the people lost, the original owners lost on this thing. It's sad, but it's true. And, uh, you know, and of course, and I always tell people too, if I have to make these things new cosmetically and have to make them new functionality, then I'm going to ask $76,000 for it because it's going to be a new RV. But, you know, the, the cosmetic imperfections is part of buying used over new. And um, this is a nice little van. It's rare. I don't have any extra fees. So when you get here, the price is $29.9, haggle free. We don't, we don't haggle prices. And I dare you to try to find one this year model in this condition for that price anywhere else. 
and especially considering that's an out the door price. These other dealers that advertise online, folks, they don't tell you to sign the dotted line, but they're going to hit you up with two or three, four thousand dollars in dock fees, freight fees, tag fees, title fees, processing fees, get ready fees, corporate fees, um, and, and any other name they can think of, acquisition fees. I've heard I've heard a couple of RV dealers say that, and I still don't know what that is. But <laughs> I've been in this industry 20 years. But they just come up with all these crazy names for these fees. But I tell you what I call them: they're ripoff fees because all those fees are 100% dealer profit, 100% unnecessary to purchase a new or used RV. You know, the only fee we charge besides the uh, only fee we charge besides the sales price. If you're a Georgia resident, since we're the oldest licensed, bonded, and insured Georgia used RV dealer in existence and have been for several years, you'll pay sales tax or TAVT tax when you buy this RV if you're a Georgia resident. All out of state residents will finance, will pay your, uh, excuse me, will pay your tax, your, your state and county sales tax rate when you tag and title this motorhome at your local DMV office. If you don't know um, your, your, your sales tax rate for your county or your uh, state, just ask one of my salespeople, give me a zip code, they can Google it and tell you exactly what your sales tax will be when you tag and title this motorhome. And um, we have financing available with approved credit. You can apply right from our website. Just make sure uh, and keep this in mind, folks. It requires a minimum. I don't care if you have a 900 plus credit score and have the most perfect credit known to man. If you if you don't have minimum 10% down with the way these banks are now, they really tightened up on this. If you don't have a minimum 10% down, you know, you're not gonna be able to go through any of my lenders. I don't care how good your credit is. So, so if you don't have a minimum $3,000 down, and of course, the lower your credit score is, the higher the down payment goes up. Keep that in mind. But minimum 10% down, and we can get you probably 120, maybe even 144 months financed on this motorhome with approved credit. And you can apply right from our website. And what we do is we send it to our lenders, see what we can get bought on it, and see uh, if we can get your credit approved. It's simple, it's easy, and no obligation. If you get approved on a unit, that doesn't mean you have to buy it. It just answers your question if you can buy it or not. And if you want to buy it, that's great, folks. Our interest rates are the lowest we can possibly get. We're not like other dealers. Other dealers will mark the interest rate up 2 or 3% over what the bank approves you for, which costs you thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan. Because let's be honest with you, folks, most dealers, they don't offer a thing unless they're making a ton of profit. That's why they have... You think they're offering financing to help you buy? No, they're offering financing so they can mark the interest rate up two or three percent, and the bank lets them keep the difference on what the interest rate they charge you versus what the bank approved them for, costing you thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan. And uh, we don't do that, folks. I mean, we get customers done. Uh, I, I did a guy the other day. I got him approved at like a 4.8 percent. On 144 months, that's 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 a pretty low rate, folks. Let me tell you, to have that long a term financing. And if you did, if you currently own an RV, and you bought it from a dealer and went through their finance department, folks, let me tell you a way you can save some money. Even if you don't trade it in or you don't buy an RV from us, just just take this tidbit to heart. Uh, Google RV financing on the internet, and you're going to see a list of banks that come up. Get your current rate and what your current payoff is and what your RV is, of course, you're going to be shocked when you can refinance it and save 2 or 3% because that's what that dealer that you bought it from marked their interest rate up. So anyway, folks, just a little tidbit. Uh, this unit's going to sell quick. We can help you arrange nationwide delivery. If you want to fly in, drive this van home, just contact our salespeople beforehand, work out a deal so we can get it in line to get checked out in the shop. And when you get here, after it's ready, uh, RV Techs will give you a full demonstration or a walkthrough on it, and you can drive it home. We'll pick you up free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport. We have a, 
usually four, maybe five sets of customers a week that fly in. Folks, you got to realize we sell a, almost 600 RVs a year. We have over 170 used RVs in stock. These things, uh, there is such a nationwide shortage of road ready used motorhomes now. It's the craziest I've ever seen. That's why you go to so many dealerships right now. 90% of their inventory is new because there's such a shortage of used inventory. We've got more used inventory in stock than any dealer in 500 mile radius of us. That's how many RVs we have. And if we don't have it, chances are you don't need it. And I've got a, actually got a couple of these vans I just got in. And um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're in the market for one of these because I've actually got two or three others I'm hoping to be posting as time permits in the next couple of days. Well, time and weather, we've got this tropical storm moving through here. So this rain's just, it's starting to pick up pretty good. Anyway, folks, give us a call, 2004-2005, Road Trek 190 Popular. You can email me directly. I'm not in sales, but if you've got a certain question for me, my email is bo, B-O, at parkwayrvcenter.com. I'm sorry I don't take phone calls because I'm busy doing videos and my other duties, but um, you can always email me, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have about any of my videos, anything I've said. If you want me to clarify, I'll be more than happy to do so via email. Or if you want to buy this van, folks, give us a call. Talk to one of my non-commissioned salespeople. Because they're non-commissioned, there's no games, no gimmicks, no surprises. Um... No drama, no trouble. 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com or .net. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get notifications every time I post a video. Um, and believe me, folks, you never know from one day to the next what I'm going to do a video on. Hell, I don't even know one day to the next what I'm going to do a video on. I mean, it's crazy. It, it surprises me every day what, what people bring in to trade and um, what we buy. I mean, I've got buyers that, that buy stuff from all over the country, stuff that nobody else can find. I've got connections with RV dealers thanks to our 49-plus years in business. We've got some connections that other dealers just, just, just wish they could have uh, to buy used RVs. And uh, we, uh, we've been in business a long time, folks, 49 years, family owned and operated for three generations, one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independently owned, family operated used RV dealerships in the United States today, and the oldest in the state of Georgia by several years. We're not going anywhere, folks. We own everything we sell. We don't owe anybody anything. Our property's paid for. We pay cash for all of our inventory, so this allows us to negotiate a better price, and we buy them in bulk. And when we can get them for a better price, we sell them for a better price, folks. Um, you know, we you just can't buy experience like we have, and that's why our prices are so much lower. We pride ourselves on having the lowest prices on the internet for the same year making model, and uh, you know we've been doing this a long time. You know, there's not much we haven't seen. So give us a call, put our experience to work for you. You're going to get a nicer, uh, cleaner RV than you can anywhere else, and you're going to get it for a lower price than you can anywhere else. Don't believe me? Just check our inventory and use Google and, and Google other 2005 and, uh, road track bands. See what they're bringing, folks. And look and compare it to this one. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.